Hey Calvary, this is Pastor Mark. I brought you up onto the north property here this afternoon. Uh, about to go take a jog. It's a beautiful day. Got my earbuds ready to go. Um, I just wanted you to get a good look, good look at that blue sky of Ohio right there. Look at that. You got a little a couple clouds in the sky. Um, you know, a week ago on my devotional video, I talked about the timeline um, of the resurrection. Jesus is crucified on Friday. He rises to rise from the dead on Sunday, Easter Sunday. We celebrated two weeks ago. Uh, that same night, the um, the disciples are gathered in a in an upper room. They're locked in. The doors are locked, and and here Jesus comes, uh, and he appears to them. He validates by his appearing to them the truth of the resurrection, so that you and I can believe that it really happened. Jesus really rose from the dead uh, and and conquered death we can place our faith in him and accomplish the same thing through faith in Jesus Christ Thomas then a week later um, you know he he says I won't I'm not gonna believe him until I see him and so what, that, what that's exactly what happens a week later Jesus appears again Thomas sees him and it's like he gets down on his hands and knees he says my Lord and my God um, he confesses faith in Jesus Christ. Jesus says, blessed are those who have not seen and yet will believe. And Jesus is talking about you. He's talking about me. Those who would come after him and hear of the story, hear of the testimony of these disciples. Um, read the New Testament and they would believe that Jesus really did all these miracles, really rose from the dead. Wow, what an amazing thing to uh, put our hope in. There's one more thing, though, that I want you to grasp. As you look at this blue sky behind me, it's, it's gorgeous. Um, there was a few weeks after the resurrection that the disciples and Jesus went up onto a hill, and Jesus ascends in front of them. And the men are looking up into the sky, and they're, they're watching Jesus go. And as they're doing that, angels come alongside them and, and tell them, what are you looking at? Of course, Jesus had just ascended, and um, they make a statement. It's a very important statement, actually. They say, this same Jesus, this same Jesus who you watched ascend will come again to this earth in like manner. My friends, that promise is still yet to be fulfilled. Jesus Christ will come again. Even as we believe in his death and his resurrection, so we also believe in his second coming, when he will physically rend the heavens and come down. And the call goes forth again. If you're watching this video and you're, you're questioning, you're wondering, what, what's this story mean for me? Let me call you once again. Make today the day that you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. He died for you. He hung on a cross with his arms open wide as an open invitation that you might come, put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone and gain salvation by your faith. Wow, what a gift. Not just for uh, to live life today, but for the hope, the true hope that these blue heavens behind me will be rend open and the glories of heaven will come down the Lord Jesus to reign on this planet and he will for, we will forever be with the Lord Jesus Christ. Make today the day that you place your faith in this wonderful, wonderful creator, sustainer, and savior of mankind. Won't you do that now? Jesus can come today, the promises are true, this same Jesus will return.